Hey, wondering why I have three flags behind me and why I chose those three flags in particular? Well, here we are in Boiler Room Studios for phase two recording sessions. I'm going to tell you why I picked those three flags in particular. Stay tuned. Hello, you crazy cool rockers out there in the world right now. It is I. It is Paul from Planet Cool Worldwide with another 2020 sessions update. And so now let's talk about these flags, the three flags, the British flag, the Canadian flag, and the American flag. Why do I have those on the wall in Boiler Room Studios? Real simple. Those three flags represent the countries that the bands that I followed all through my career, who were the soundtracks of my life and made a huge impact in my musical journey all came from. British flag, of course, Motorhead, Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, and so on, and so on. Canadian flag? Eh. Triumph, Rush, Andy Curran, Coney Hatch, Kim Mitchell, Helix, Max Webster, and so on, and so on. Big Sugar, and had probably the best and most amazing drummer and lyricist in the world, of course, Neil Peart, coming from here. And over here, we've got Kiss, we've got Sammy Hager, we've got Van Halen, Ted Nugent, and so on, and so on. And they were also a huge part of my musical journey. And of course, with Kiss being from the States, were in 1977, were the reason that I even wanted to play music and wanted to play music for the rest of my life. So. That is, in a nutshell, why I have those flags up. It's an inspiration thing, and I just thought it looked good on, on the wall. By the way, did you notice the bass guitar between the Canadian flag and the British flag? Guess what? Okay, so we have, on the British flag, we got Lemmy Killinster from Motorhead. No brainer. Huge influence. Learned so much from that guy. And then you got Steve Harris, and oh my god, Steve Harris is like a freaking machine. He just like is like his fingers are like faster than I ever seen. And uh, you know what a huge influence he was on both songwriting but bass playing. Oh my god. And with him and Nico McBrain together, what a huge powerful rhythm section. And then of course here in Canada, yeah, you got Getty Lee and of course Neil Peart together as a rhythm section, but Getty, oh my god, this guy could play bass like you wouldn't believe his fingers going also 100 miles an hour. And then you got Mike Levine from Triumph. Mike Levine just had these basic lines, but also some really neat choices of notes while Rick was doing his thing. Just an amazing bass player too, just had a really good groove with Gilmore. So there it is. That's why I have those flags up in there and not on the wall. And they look great too, so I'm really happy uh, about the results of that. Now, as for the recording sessions, 13 songs done and they're posted online. So guess what? Go down below here to the description, go to the links to go and check out the new songs. They're really good. I'm really proud of them. And of course, when you've complete the songs, and you still have more to do and you get really restless thinking you're going to go do those later in the summer. Uh -uh. I, decided, I decided to start right away. Um, I'm just crazy that way and I just love wanting to know what they're going to sound like. So what I did was uh, completed the guitars. So that's eight songs that have guitars. And now I'm working on the drums, which I just started last night on the first song, I'm, which is completed getting the second song done hopefully this weekend and then continue and getting the drums done and the drums are a little different this time I'm doing something a little different in how I'm recording them and doing them basically I'm doing them uh, it's kind of an interesting process it takes a little longer but it's gonna come out really good so I'm really happy with that and uh, you know continue to stay tuned for more updates there are some things coming up with the website and other things that I'm gonna be doing so stay tuned for that. So wait, one more thing. Just stop what you're doing, go down below, subscribe to my channel right now. And I appreciate you watching this, and more importantly, I appreciate you sharing these videos that I have on Planet Cool Worldwide 
to others. So do that. If you could share this to others, that would be appreciated. Just love to be able to share my story of music to others and why I do what I do. So there it is, in a nutshell. Done. June 6, 2020 update is done. And of course, more importantly, Planet Cool is heavy rock for the rest of us, and it always will be. You know what? Another thing too. Go after your goals. Write them down. Dream as big as you can dream. And you know what? The most important thing of all is follow your intuition. Listen to your gut. If you do that, things will go really well. So, that's it. Have a great one. We'll see you again for more updates. Take care.